So for theme for today, um, so many themes, it was hard to choose one for today, but the one that I'd like to invite us to practice with is a sense of gratitude, looking at uh, what things that are available in your life that you would have loved to have in the past. And now, now you have them, they're, they're part of your life. We tend to zero in on what isn't going well, what we don't have. We look at our lives from a perspective of, oh, I, what I want to have in the future, the person I want to be, and this is lacking, this is not good enough. Whereas one perspective here is looking at ourselves from a past perspective. Oh, would have loved to have this, for example, this cultivation of the heart. I would have loved to have more this, more that, more whatever it is, and realize, oh, that's actually here in my life. I would have, or, or a gift of COVID is, oh, I wish I had more time to myself. I wish I had more time to myself. Guess what? We've all had a lot more time to ourselves. Uh, or maybe, maybe not so much if you're a caretaker. But, but so that would be one invitation that I like to work with tonight. Um, and the other invitations is with gratitude practice. When we uh, think of what actually things that we take for granted today on the radio um, on NPR, I heard this report of the very first experimental operation uh, using gene editing in the body. Instead of taking genes out, it's actually in the body. And the first couple of people who have volunteered have um, are, are legally blind. They have very, very limited vision. So they're able to actually do the operation, editing their genes in their eyes, in their eyes. Um, and this, you know, for, for those who have vision, we take our vision for granted. And, and yet hearing um, the, the people who had volunteered with joy, with hope, um, who had very, very limited vision, tunnel vision, essentially no peripheral vision as they were describing, um, just made me, today I realize, and I've been sitting in the space of gratitude in so many ways from the perspective of the past and perspective of all the things we take for granted. So, so much to, to gladden the heart, so much to gladden the heart with, to find support. <laughs> 